All right, y'all. I already spread these out. Just some meditation on this reading. Um, right now, I got a queen of swords on board. Single. A divorced, unmarried individual. I have a king on board and a reversal. Earth energy. Then I have the Seven of Swords, the Two of Pentacles in a reversal, the Virgo energy, I mean, Earth energy, Release card, Justice, Six of uh, Pentacles. Earth energy again. And then you have the balance card. So the balance card is at the top because to balance all this information out so I can deliver it to you as clear as possible. This queen had to cut this king of pentacle off because he is in a reversal. He's a compassionate Accomplished, cosmetic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security, and prosperity. Everything turning out beautifully. A supportive parent and spouse. A good person to work for. In the reversal, I'm taking it, it's the opposite of what is going on. In this situation, it will be the opposite. This person is giving you hell. This person is driving you up the fucking wall. Not only are they selfish, they have a big ego. They are a master manipulator. They con people into doing things for them. This person is uh, not reliable. You cannot depend on this person. If you was in a financial jam, you can't call this person. You can't ask this person for a damn dime because they ain't got it. You know they ain't got it. They know they ain't got it and they ain't trying to get it. You've been trying to get this person to get a job. You've been trying to get this person to be independent. You've been trying to get this person to be on the same level as you. But this motherfucker don't comprehend. He don't understand. He too worry about what the hell going on between your thighs. This is one of those type of men that worry more about the pussy than him actually loving himself and taking care of himself. And making sure that he's financially straight. So when you see a king upside down. It's all of the opposite of compassion, you know, because if you have some compassion, you will have compassion for yourself to get yourself together. You will have these skills. If you was a man of God, you will have godly energy. Godly energy is to provide and take care of your family. These are godly things. When a man is godly, you know a godly man because he's going to do godly things. You don't have to ask him to do godly things. Now, you know, if you're dealing with a street nigga, a, a person that's a part of the game, Bloods, Crips, they don't, they more loyal to the game than they are to their own family. You understand what I'm saying? And when I say that, it's because if you could take the time out to participate in a gang rival, and you don't have the enough com common sense to go get your life together, something ain't right. That means you are to the streets. You are a street person. You're, you don't belong with good people. You belong with bad people. Go find somebody like you. Why you want to interrupt the good people for? Go take your ass over there with them... Go get you a crip bitch. Go get you a blood bitch. Don't come over here messing with these nurses, teachers, doctors, 
police officers, correction officers. Don't come over here fucking with us. Take your ass on over there, okay? Now, these are the things you see when you see the reverse king. And then you have the queen. She's on board. She's not with none of the shit. She's brilliant. She's experienced. She's judgmental. You know, she released situations, people that no longer serve her. She see harmony in difficult situations. She's focusing on her career. She don't want this motherfucker. She want a divorce. So since she want the fucking divorce, the queen, the king in a reversal, he's bitter. He's mad. He's furious because things ain't going the way he expected to be. He was hoping for balance. He was praying for balance. He was hoping that by him showing and putting in effort, cooking and cleaning and mopping and sweeping and taking the kids to school and paying a bill here and there, that things will be balanced. No, justice came, bitch. The universe is seeking justice on you. You either pray for justice or the universe is stepping in. They say, all right, we tired of this motherfucker and his shit. You're going to have to get rid of this motherfucker. Either you get rid of him or we're going to take him the fuck out. This is where the, this is where the judgment card is at. You see this? Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of the integrities, meaning principles. You will win if you follow principles and you respect people. When you respect people, let me tell you, God going to do whatever for you. When you show love to the universe and you show love to people and you give out knowledge and you share information, positive information, God will protect you regardless. You already covered. My God tells me I work with six angels. Six. I got six angels who protect me daily. Why my God said I got six angels? He said, because the things I cannot see are attacking me. And he need the angels to protect my energy. <coughs> so understand that the power of the most high protection is real. You don't want to come across his children. He don't play when it comes to us. He don't play. I'm telling you, I've seen it happen. I had prayers. I've seen it happen. I'll give you an example of how powerful the most high is. My brother was killed when I was like 21. He was killed at 21. The energy was so strong. Our, our souls were so connected. That's why I say your soulmate could be your brother, your sister, your mom, you if, depend on how close you are to that person, how close your energy is. Me and my brother energy was very close. And when he got killed, I felt the bullets coming towards me in a dream. And they woke me up. And then I got on the phone and I called my ex-boyfriend at the time because I was thinking it could have been him. And he was telling me he did almost got shot that night. And he ended up having to run towards the train station and he made it and he caught the, the three train over in Brownsville and shit. And I'm in my bed. I get another call from a childhood friend and she like, yo, they killed your brother. You so dead. And I'm like, damn. Then I get the call from the person who killed him. And he told me he didn't do it. And that was his words. I did not do it. So I told him, 
even if he did, I forgive him, I love him, and I'm going to let it go. I forgave, I love, and I let it go. Listen to what I'm saying to you people. I forgave is the is the laws of the universe. I forgave. I love that person still to this day and I let it go. I release the drama, I release the stress and guess what? 1 year later, he was killed exactly the same way as my brother by his own blood brother. You see? And I tell you people, I didn't have to lift a finger. I didn't even have to argue. I didn't even have to scream. Nothing. I put it in God's hand. And let me tell you, I tell people, God is a beast. He's not that loving God these um, pastors be talking about all fucking day. When you read that Bible, you're going to read a beast, a warrior, a gangster. He, he, he mean what he say, his words is just what it is. And if you go against his word, you are atheist. He, he basically saying you atheist. I'm not even arguing with you. I'm not going to explain to you who I am. If you don't believe in me, <laughs> poof, be gone. <laughs> and I love that. Why explain myself to you when you could be gone? <laughs> And that's what I do. I poof, be gone, people. Why waste your energy when God put billions of people in this damn earth? So if you don't get along with one motherfucker, you don't think you ain't going to find another friend? Shit. Let me tell you, people. And if you ain't the type of person to get out, you ain't going to find nobody. Because you can't find nobody sitting in no goddamn house. You got to get out. You got to be social. And if you are an anti-social type of person, you need to break some barriers. You need to bring some of that energy down and open up the doors and start being more open. Start bringing in your femi feminine energy and, you know, put tuck away the masculine energy for a little while. You have to release that energy. And don't be giving out all your money and shit. You know, it's all right to show people, you know, you're fruitful and you're abundant. But, you know what I'm saying, borrow wisely and pay your debts off and share your wealth with others less fortunate. You know what I'm saying? If somebody come to you and they say, listen, you know, I'm fucked up right now. I ain't got no food. I ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? Can I hold something until I get my check or whatever? You know, look out for people. You know, don't be stingy. Don't be cheap. And with this two of um, coins and a reversal, like I said, for me, a reversal is the opposite of whatever a person ain't doing. Working too hard or multiplying jobs. So not only are you working hard, it's in a reversal. So you're not working hard and you're not working multiple jobs. You're taking a break. You're balancing the budget. So in the verse, so you balance in the budget and the balance card is twice. So that's confirmation. You releasing things that don't serve you. You feel me? And some, you got a, a, a damn thief. Somebody going to try to steal something. They're coming around to steal something, spill a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others, actions, a material loss. Make sure you are being Honest with yourself. Embracing secrets. So this motherfucker stealing people's shit while everybody back turned. So he going this motherfucker gonna wait till everybody's sleeping and then he gonna sneak his ass out the fucking zone. That's some shit of a verse who king of pinnacle gonna do. Release it. Let that motherfucker go. You the you the boss right now. You cut, you queen of swords. You cut your shit out that don't serve you any purpose. Okay, you guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you.